Good afternoon. Eve loves her toy. Give me that. Give me that. Hey, Eve. Do you want to play a little? And then do you want to... Do you want to go outside? <gasps> you want to go outside? Do you? Do you want to go? You want to go outside? Do you? Let's go. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Now that it's nicer out, we can start bringing Eve on these, on the longer, longer uh, leash and give her a little bit of freedom. Look at, she's so excited to have just this like feeling of freedom. Eve says, wait a minute. I know this place from a different lifetime. This is where Sarah and I first moved in. Our first apartment was actually those two windows right there above the door. That one and that one um, was our first apartment after we got married. Um, we didn't have Eve then. We had Eve at our second apartment. But it's so funny to be in this like in this building area because we were only there 11 months before we worked on the salsa, but it was a good time. Eve, you never lived here. What are you trying to get in the door for? Sarah and I lived here before, before you were part of our family before you were born actually, but you didn't live here before. She says, I want to. To give you a little perspective, here's the Starbucks and the Ann Sathers we've been to. Eve is over our walk already. And that building right there is the building we were just on the other side of the, like the, the inside part of the building. But this is what happens. Eve goes on a walk and then she's like, you know what? I'm over it, we're done. I'm just gonna stop right here. What did Uncle Grant bring us? What did Uncle Grant dump on the passenger seat? Oh no. Christina will find out soon. <laughs> Does this remind you of the night we packed my apartment? We got Wendy's at 3 a.m. and. The trauma? Yeah. <laughs> did you say drama or trauma? Trauma. <laughs> Both. Both. When we fall off the plant-based train, we fall off hard. This is their pub, chicken sandwich, pretzel bun. Never mind, second wind. She just found, hey, don't chew the cord. Oh, you got yourself trapped. She found her way up to this like mini boutique hotel's balcony. We gotta go home. We gotta walk ahead of us now. And I'm willing to bet you're about to give up in about three feet. So today has been kind of a special day. We've been hanging out on the south side. And I am just, I came back to the apartment to hang out with Eve for a while, give her some love. Because tonight, having a little slumber party, grandma's. So we went on a long walk. We've been running around. We've been playing. Um, getting her set up to have a little nice R&R. &R, a little Eve time. And then we'll... Um, We'll see her in the morning after we're done working, but here she comes. Oh, hello. Have you heard the car outside? That car was through the door. I don't want to say the O word again. Not through the, the floor. Don't mind those frames. I still have to hang a few things. We've not hung anything in our bedroom and I still need to do, that's where all the hanging needs to happen left pretty much. Um, there's two big, those two white shelves that used to be in our living room are going in our bedroom and we've got these new white frames to go on them. And then I have like Sarah's bouquet that we have in a shadow box from our wedding that I need to hang up and her hats and stuff. So I'm sorry. We're getting there. Okay. Is this not just an absurdly beautiful city and skyline? Oh, we were having our picnic just around the bottom left of the screen yesterday. That's the Drake right there. A gazebo. Right there. Boom, gazebo. All right, I'm getting back to Sarah's mom's in just a nick of time. The State of the Union address 
President Biden's first one begins in 10 minutes. And for the first time ever, there will be two women standing behind the president. That is cool. Check it out, VP and Speaker. Oh, hold on, First Lady. Oh, I love her. Yeah, that's that's a spunky dress. Look at. So it begins. There he is. All right, Joe. Let's hear some good plans. So we are actually spending the night at my mom's tonight. I don't know if Peter had said that or not. Um. So it's kind of this fun little slumber party. We're gonna sleep in my old room, which is now set up like a little guest room um, slash office. So that is nice. And it's just one of those things that like, for so long we talked about how like when there would be grandkids around that we would have these types of nights at my mom's. And even though James is so small and we're staying here tonight too, um, and he's stayed here the night before um i don't know it just like feels special he did fall asleep but during the speech but he is only five and a half months old so it doesn't i don't hold it against him that he fell asleep during a political speech but i think uh president biden did a, a decent job i'm very um optimistic about the the job plan that he proposed i feel like one of the positives to us starting this vlog is that we have gained some really close international friends, not just in the UK, but all over, and to hear their personal experiences about certain things that um, other countries do that America doesn't do that may, might want to, and I believe should do, um, makes me feel confident in a lot of things, kind of like with things like universal health care and some educational rights and everything. So, um, I mean, the speech can be as great or as terrible as it wants. It, it comes down to Congress getting work done. Our baby was just smiling so big. His eyes are 100% open, but he's 100% asleep. Oh, he's so happy. Our drone gets here Friday instead of Thursday now. That's still great, though. As long as it gets here before a special little trip we're doing the following weekend. Or two weekends after. The next week. This vlog is so cool and important because like the number one reason we do it is to hold all these memories and we've had such an amazing time in Disney World living in Florida owning our life and our future doing things like ACS and running and vegan and playing in the most magical place on earth but like Sarah was just showing me like clips on her phone of James over the past couple of weeks and it's just like it's totally insane like we're just like what if we had this footage of our parents holding us up in the air. Mm -hmm. Like, it's crazy that, like I always say selfishly, like these vlogs are for me when I'm 95 and I'm just sitting next to this wrinkly, white-haired, <laughs> clear-haired woman that I'm just gonna be watching old vlogs the whole time with mm -hmm. you, reminiscing. Yeah. But it's like, he also gets to that. And right. if he has any children someday, they get to see us with him. It's just- Yeah, and it's, it's cool because like no matter where we are, like that's why like the whole it's good to be home thing makes sense because it's just these memories are forever ingrained mm -hmm. and and they're like they're special because of us. Mm -hmm. Obviously our surroundings you know, dictate what we're doing and whatnot, but like it's our treasures for us. I didn't even know that you were going there with this clip. Um, Pretty good night, nice. Yeah, it's late, and I, we're, um, I'm working from here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, like, we're going to work from here during the day, and then, like, right when I'm done at 4, we're going to hit the road to get back up to Eve. It was, um, I had so much fun on that walk with her earlier. Yeah. Running around, yeah. I miss her. Yeah. But we're going to put in a clip right here. April 28th, April 28th, the month is almost over. Ooh, an Andy Warhol. Gotta love some Andy. 
Sometimes people let the same problem make them miserable for years when they could just say, so what? I mean, I like it. It's definitely written in a way to get through to some people's perspective, but I like that same ideology phrased differently, I think. And uh, with that, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.